Hello, my name is Edwin Rogers. I'm a city kid for many, many years, and I want to help you learn a little bit about NFTs. So let's get started. Okay, so we're at the City Kids web website, but before I um, get started, I just want to everyone who is under 80, the age of 18, please get your parents' permission, get your parents to watch this video, uh, and uh, and get your parents' permission before proceeding. NFTs stand for non-fungible tokens. Best name in the world for something. I'm joking. No, it, what does that mean, right? Well, before we could um, really understand what an NFT is, we understand we have to understand what those the meaning of fungible is. So let's just go. One, two, three, four, five. If someone says, I, yeah, I have five dollars, and you say, oops, wrong one. I have five dollars. You exchange the two, they're equal. That's called fungibility, right? Five of these is the same as one of these because this is a five dollar bill and this is five dollars and they're always going to be equal and the same. Now, let me explain what something that is non-fungible means. All right, what is non-fungible? Look at this amazing picture right here. Who's that? That's a young Derek Jeter. If you were an old person like me and paid 50 cents for this Derek Jeter card, today, would that be worth 50 cents? Absolutely not. It would be worth more like $750,000. Maybe you could get a million for it, who knows? That's non-fungible. The price of it is based on what people believe it is. So it's a collectible. That's why it's, that's why it's a collectible. So a non-fungible token is a way of taking a digital asset, something that's digital, right? This JPEG is digital. and minting it to the blockchain, which is immutable and it can't be changed, and saying, this has scarcity, this has value. You may have a million of these JPEGs, but there's only one NFT. And that NFT is worth whatever I say it is. And if you're gonna pay for it, you have to pay for it in, um, in uh, cryptocurrency or ETH. So again, this is, this is explaining what an NFT is in a very basic form. Uh, and the beauty of it. Another really awesome feature about an NFT is if I sold this Derek Jeta card to someone for, I'm gonna use a million dollars, then they sold it for $10 million, what do I get? Donut! But with an NFT, it's not the, that's not the case. If I sold a Derek Jeter um, NFT for a million dollars, and you then sold it for $10 million, I would get another million dollars. For as many times as it's sold in perpetuity, that means forever. So that really rewards the artist, even if it, they sold it for $10, and then all of a sudden it, it increases in value many years later, they are still rewarded for it forever. So that those are the two things that make NFT so exciting. So let's get started with the steps that you need to take in order to create an NFT or mint an NFT. The first thing is you need to have some art that you can create. It doesn't have to be art though. You can do photography. You can do um, an NFT technically just as a file, but um, it's really exciting in the art community because it solves a huge problem that digital artists specifically had with adding value to their digital art. So that's where you would start. I'll show you a little bit of my OpenSea. We're gonna go back to OpenSea. This is a digital uh, version of myself that I created. And then this is a little bit of my art uh, that, I've, that I've been doing some of this photography, experimenting with. Some of it is is um, AI art. This is artificial intelligence art, and um, these are screen grabs and videos of artificial intelligence art. So all of this is just an experiment. Nobody knows um, 
nobody's an expert on this. I'm not an expert on this. It's just, it's time, to, it's just play. So um, you can take an iPad and draw with a iPad and a pencil. You can draw a with, 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 or color your own art and then just take a photograph uh, of it. And then all you have to do is post it on to a marketplace. OpenSea is the biggest, but there's many, many others. So I'm just gonna take you through the basics of that. But before you can do any of this, you need to set up a MetaMask wallet. Now what is a MetaMask wallet? A MetaMask wallet gives you a unique identifier so that you, it's like, um, I would say it's like your uh, unique Google ID. And you know how like you use your, maybe your Gmail to log into a bunch of different apps? using your Gmail account, it says click and to log in with Gmail. So most of the um, decentralized apps, they're called dApps, right? They're going to ask you to log in and guess what? The most popular way to log in is through MetaMask. You don't see Facebook, you don't see um, Google here because this is blockchain specific uh, app. So step one, set up a MetaMask and MetaMask is a extension for Chrome or I'm using Brave right now, but you can add it as a Chrome extension. It's really simple. So add extension. Does not work with Safari. All right, where did that go? Let's see, there it is. So now it's a Chrome extension right here. What you do is you get started. Okay, and see, if you don't already have a secret phrase, and this is a, a set of words that you have to make sure you write down, put in multiple places in order. Because if you lose this phrase, or if anyone else sees the secret phrase, they can, they can make transactions that are irreversible, which nobody wants. So you have to keep it private and safe, share it with no one, your secret phrase. So let's, well, you, I've done this before, but you would create a wallet, okay? And then you follow all the instructions. Make sure you ask your parents permission if you are under 18, or um, make sure you talk to your parents before taking any of these, these steps, all right? Agree, and then you're gonna have to create a password, which you will have to remember. Okay, so I got my password, it's matching. Now I'm gonna hit create. It's gonna take a minute. You might wanna go through this video, learn a lot about your secret phrase. Again, it's 12 words, this is your master key. You must write it down, maybe store it in a bank vault, store it in a safe deposit box write it down and store it in multiple places, but whatever you do, don't put it on your computer because if a hacker gets into your computer and gets it, that's not good. Um, but store it in a place that's safe and store it in multiple places. So like maybe your house and maybe your grandmother's house. That's a good idea. Okay, so next. This is the secret password key, which you shall, you cannot reveal to anyone it is really important that you understand that, remember that, and never lose it because you will not be able to access any of your, um, anything. And if you lose this, can't find the, the phrase. Um, if you had, there's a fire in your house, for example, and then it burns up because it was on a piece of paper, you're, you, you, you need to have it on in, in another place. There's something else called like a, 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 a digital uh, wallet. Um, a hard wallet that, that you can use, that you can buy in order to keep that information in a physical location that only you can access to. But I'm going to pause this now. Okay, now I have written down my secret key and again it's 12 words which I can't share with you but what they're going to ask you to do a test to make sure that you, you have it written down correctly is to put them all in order by clicking below here and put them all in order. Hooray! Since I wrote it down, I was able to put it all in order. This doesn't matter because this, um, I already have my MetaMask. I'm just showing you how to set it up and all the steps that you need to take care of it. So now that you're all done, 
boom, we have a MetaMask account. Uh, oops, I guess I didn't save it. Oh, yeah, no, here's a good example. I'm changing this to City Kids. And my, my wallet name to City Kids. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go to OpenSea and I'm gonna log in and create an account and a profile with OpenSea. So let me use MetaMask. And then Brave is gonna ask, or Chrome is gonna ask you to use your MetaMask, okay? You're logged into your MetaMask. You remember the password, so always make sure you write down the password that you created. Also, another thing you want to keep secret. All right. Okay, so right now I have no Ethereum because I just set this up. You can fund your Ethereum in different ways and that's a, that's a topic for another discussion. Maybe we could talk about that in another video. Okay, now if you wanna log in to, let's see. Should take a second. Now it's now you're using MetaMask just like the same way you would use Google to log or Facebook your Facebook account into to log in into a, a website. It could be any website. Now you're using your MetaMask to log into a um, decentralized application. And it's just the same thing, it's, it's super secure. And so I'm using the City Kids account to log in and connect. So here's my profile. And right now everything is kind of blank because I'm new to this system. Um, what I would do first is kind of edit my profile. Settings. So whenever you want to access a, or chain, make a change, you have to agree to it on your wallet. And so, great, I'm making a change. This way they, it's known that this is, this is who I am. So I'm gonna put my username, make it city kids. Bio, I'll put citykids.com for now, just placeholder. And you can, um, you can add uh, different um, NFT artwork. Uh, and yeah, that's the City Kids logo. Actually, this is me, you can't really see it. But that's me when I was 16. Yeah, good times. Uh, so let's say, we wanted to take an image, let's say like this image, again, um, that's me, and and make it into an NFT. It's a beautiful photograph. I don't own the rights to that photograph. I know who took the photograph, but but I, so I don't wanna do that, but we, you can create an art and make it into an NFT. So how would you go about doing that? Okay, so here it says create, right? New item. And NFTs could be lots of different files, formats, um, JPEGs, they're not just the only things, PNGs, um, GIFs, uh, um, GLTFs are like 3D files. Um, if you're an artist and you like music and you have your own album, you can put in WAV files and music files. To G so they're not just exclusive to um, just images or animated um, images. It's, it could be a lot of things. 
So right now, again, I'm not gonna um, actually do this, but let's grab one of these pictures. I will use this one, forget it. I'll just use this one now, because I'm in it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, um, I'm gonna put, uh, name is um, City Kids. Uh, I don't know, in the 80s. All right, perfect. Dating myself over here. Maybe 90s, actually. 80s is... Okay, so then you can have an external link. Like, let's say you have your own website. Um, you can link out to that. So give people information, the description. Um, there's all kinds of... You could just make up a description real quick. Amazing photo from the past. Okay, uh, but obviously you should have something a little more descriptive than that. Um, just uh, showing. So now here are some things that might confuse you. The properties and levels and stats, I kind of don't mess with that. But one thing I do like to give is unlockable content. And what? And so I want to explain a little bit about that. What is an unlockable content? Um, unlockable content is um, things that you, once you buy the uh, NFT, you get something extra. So maybe it's a really high res version of the file. And this file is 2K and the, the unlockable content is um, 4k that is you can give a link to a, a Dropbox link or something called the um, IPFS international interplanetary file system link that will always live forever and then they could so when they buy the NFT they can get that that link only after they buy the NFT they get the unlockable content that's really cool supply this is a one of one now here's the thing most people mint NFTs on the ethereum blockchain Ethereum is a cryptocurrency just like Bitcoin. But I would recommend, and again, don't, this is not um, advice, uh, financial advice, uh, but you can have um, high speed gasless, so no paying gas fees with choosing Polygon. And I think Solana is coming in the future uh, with similar features. So I would su suggest, making a suggestion, um, that you mint on Polygon so that it's free and uh, you don't have to pay gas fees because gas fees can be hundreds of dollars to mint. But once you mint once, like let's say you pay $300 and mint once, then you can mint over and over again um, on Ethereum for, for, for free. But again, stay, let's stick with Polygon. And then I would hit the create button. Obviously, I do not want to mint this as an NFT because this is not my work. Um, but, but uh, but yes, this is the process. You would hit create. You set a price after you get to this point, um, and it would be minted to the, to the blockchain. Again, always only mint the things that you own and and don't take from other people. Um, so create something, draw something, anything, and just mint it and create NFTs and create art. Um, this is just to show you the process. All right. So if you have any questions uh, about this process at all, I know it's a lot, of, it's been a long journey with me and it's a lot of uh, complicated things, please feel free to reach out. Um, um, you can find me at edwin, E-D-W-I-N, at citykids.com. Um, more tutorials are gonna be coming to get more into the specifics, but this is just the general basics and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was informative and I hope it um, leads you to the first steps. At last, I wanna iterate again for the third time, probably the 10th time. Please, if you're under 18, ask your parents permission before um, doing anything uh, with this, uh, but this is just informative for you to know. Okay, so that was a brief introduction into um, NFTs, non-fungible tokens, that can grow in value at, at any point in time. It could also decrease in value. So, uh, and what the, de the definition of non-fungible tokens are. We learned um, about OpenSea and the process to set up a MetaMask wallet and connect it to your first decentralized app. Um, 
And we also learned uh, that NFTs, when, when sold on what's called the secondary market, right? After you sell it to someone, they sell it to someone else, you can put in a amount. So it's, I think between three and 10%, OpenSea takes three, and then you would get your 10% in perpetuity. Uh, so lastly, we also know we have, if you're under 18, please, 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 Talk to your parents, uh, share this video with them, and get your parents' permission before taking any of these steps. Uh, and lastly, I wanna leave you with uh, is keep a positive thought because a positive thought cannot be denied. Peace.